Hello everyone, I'm Jay from TechForce and today we discuss what exactly is required for Cyber Essential Certification or um, what is the checklist or what does the questionnaire ask, what does the process involve. Here are some of the things I'm going uh, I'm going to explain to you and if you can answer yes or no then you will pretty much know whether you're ready for the Cyber Essential Certification, right? The scheme, Cyber Essential Scheme, has five technical controls that will be checked against um, in your business, right? So the first one being the firewalls, and second one is um, secure configuration, third one is user access controls or user accounts, and the fourth one being the patch management, fifth one being the malware management. First one, firewalls. In firewalls, the questionnaire has questions like, do you have firewalls on your perimeter network? Did you change the default passwords on them? And do you have uh, external access to these firewalls management? And is that restricted to uh, certain specific IP addresses of admins, wherever they are working from? You know, setting um, uh, questions like this and settings like this. That's, that's, that's what it will be checked against, um, right? And coming to the, um, so again, password policies for these uh, firewall accounts as well. And do those passwords have use minimum eight characters? And if you have two-factor authentication enabled, that would be brilliant. And the next one being a secure configuration in the sense. So in this section, um, we're talking about the applications. Have you uninstalled the applications? You don't use them anymore. You know, if you have the applications you don't use, you don't need, uh, you know, you need to maintain them, right? So it's easier to just remove them, um, you know. And also, have you, um, are, or do you have a password policy? And again, are your users using uh, eight digit or at minimum of uh, eight digit passwords? Uh, do you have two factor authentication enabled and uh, uh, applications? Um, what else for the applications? These sort of questions usually. And then coming to the user accounts, um, do, do you give your users admin access and how do you do that? Do you have a documented process of approval for somebody's admin access? Do you monitor uh, admin accounts regularly and do you remove the users when they left the company? Do you disable or remove? Do you have a process for it and how do you assign permissions to the new users? Do you have a process for it? Things like this in the user accounts, right? Usually, if you can answer yes to all of these questions, you're pretty much ready, right? Patch management. Patch management is um, talking about, do you have all the applications uh, you know, properly licensed and also properly updated, um, up to date? Especially um, critical updates, the most important updates being updated uh, within the 14 days of uh, them available or them released, right? Um, so if there is a critical vulnerability or if there is an update that is not applied, critical update not applied within 14 days, if that is found in the audit, it's going to be a fail, right? And also if you have systems like Windows XP, Windows 7, uh, Server 2003, 2008, if you don't have the extended support uh, agreement from the Microsoft, you, it's a fail again. So, and you'll have to have all licensed up-to-date um, applications uh, and software in your network. Right, um, but as many people struggle with third-party management, uh, third-party application management, updates management. Um, usually, you know, Windows you have WSOS or you have SCCM or Intune or something, something like that, and you get Windows updates. Um, but what do you do for Java and all that? So that's something you need to think about, right? And uh, end-of-life applications, you need to remove them. Um, that's that's uh, good to have. So do you have any end of life applications uh, in your environment? So coming to the final section is the malware management. Malware man, do you have antivirus enabled on all your systems? And does it automatically scan any new files? Or if you are plugging in external devices, that, does it automatically scan? And also does it regularly scan your systems? So if you can answer yes to all of them again, you're, you're in pretty good shape. So generally, these are the five controls. These, these are the sort of questions um, the Cyber Essential Certification process involves, right? It's not rocket science. These are the fundamentals of uh, cybersecurity. 
you should have them in place. If you don't have them in place, you're in trouble, not just for the certification, you're in trouble in general, right? So I hope that answers your um, question about Cyber Essentials process or the checklist or, you know, um, what's involved in the, in, the, in the Cyber Essentials. If you have any further questions or if you're looking uh, to achieve your certification, then please get in touch with us. I'm Jay from TechForce. We can get your certification. If it's a basic one, we can get it under, you know, under 24 hours. If it's a plus, we can get it um, under a few days if everything is um, good with your systems, All right? Thank you very much.